Get News Control. I'm Ken Rice. Take a look at these pictures we've got in from CBS. A lot of people are outraged to see how some American soldiers are treating Iraqi prisoners. We're going to give you a closer look at these in just a few minutes. And then coming up at 5, if you had an emergency while you were at your doctor's office, would your doctor have what it takes to save you? As our Dr. Paul discovered, probably not. See why. And at 6, what KDK investigator Marty Griffin discovered sure looks like animal cruelty, but could it be legal? You won't want to miss this KDK undercover investigation. It's all ahead for you, but first, all of today's top stories. KDK TV News at 4 starts right now. Now, the hometown of KDK TV News. Good afternoon. We have some breaking news in KDK TV newsroom. Firefighters are still fighting a fire in Butler County. News Chopper 2 is live over the scene along Heck Road in Buffalo Township. Now, this is all that's left of one house after a fire that started about an hour ago, and you can see that the firefighters are still working to put out the hot spots. So far, no reports of anyone being injured in that fire. We will continue to follow the story, bring you the latest as it occurs. Well, the truth comes out today for a young man who shot and killed his mother inside the home they shared. Gary Beck was to stand trial for turning a shotgun on his mother. Now, that shooting had happened more than a year ago in Economy Borough, and today Beck went before a Beaver County judge. But the trial was over before it started. KDPG Beaver Butler Bureau Chief Ross Gadotti is live now with a story. Ross? Depending on his behavior, Gary Beck will either be 35 years old or 55 years old when he is once again declared a free man. Prosecution and defense saying there are absolutely no winners in this case. Now 15 years old, the admitted killer entered the courtroom of Judge George James to enter a plea agreement to third-degree murder. Gary Beck agreed to spend the maximum 20 to 40 years in jail for the February 2000 shotgun murder of his mother, Leanne Nauman, inside the family's economy township home. Beck is tried as an adult. He could have faced life in prison under the initial charge of criminal homicide, but he pled down. Now, for the first time, Beck's stepfather and would-be adoptive father, David Nauman, spoke to the press, and he in particular talked about this plea agreement. Would justice serve me? I do not know. Uh, uh, I'd like to see longer. Uh, I know it was young. It was a, it's a young person, and it's being uh, incarcerated for a good while, a good bit of his life. But you gotta also remember that uh, he, he took away my life, and he took, and my daughter has no longer doesn't have a mother that never had a chance to be with her, and that's just not right. You've been watching this case over the last two years, and you just saw those pictures. You can see Gary Beck changed dramatically. He has grown significantly. He's put on a lot more weight. He was 13 when he was arrested. He's 15 now. His defense attorney, Thomas Sarasso, said it perfectly. He's 15 going on 50, and he had better be adult because he's going to prison now. Live in Beaver County, Ross Gadotti, KDK TV News. A local man is headed for trial accused of making racist threats against a former classmate. In this case, the evidence is all on tape. Bob Allen has a story you'll only see on KDK TV. District Justice Thomas Berletic was shocked and appalled when he listened to racist remarks and a recorded phone message made by 19-year-old Joshua Durr. I will burn a shot to you and I will wave a rebel flag in front of your courts and kill you. This is my pleasure. The remarks were left for Joseph Hicks, a senior and Durr's former classmate at South Allegheny High School last March. It's sad that in a day and time like what we're living in, it's 2004, there's still people who hate for no reason at all. This person threatened not only to kill my nephew, but threatened to kill me and my three daughters. Durr was held over for trial on terroristic threats, ethnic intimidation, and harassment. Police say he admitted making the remarks while he was drunk. District Justice Berletic threatened to revoke bond and told Durr the remarks are evil and hateful. He asked him to search his mind and soul and ask for forgiveness and drive out the hate. Defense attorney Bernie Tully says the family is embarrassed. I just felt terrible about the whole situation. I, uh, uh, tried, uh, the family, I believe, tried to apologize to the, uh, to the victim here. Um, it's a little consolation, but uh, this is just a bad situation for everybody. Obviously, we can't play everything that was said on that tape. Durr's attorney says his client is seeking counseling. Meanwhile, Durr faces similar charges from a separate case in Clareton. Bob Allen, KDKA TV News. 
Well, the Mercer County judge is mad over some carpeting. Judge Thomas Dobson says the contractors made a mistake when they installed some new carpeting in his courtroom. Dobson says the pattern is out of square by as much as three inches. Judge Dobson has ordered the county workers to take care of the problem, and he says he may sue the contractor. Mercer County officials say that if the carpet was installed incorrectly, they will do something about it. Well, yesterday we told you about wild turkeys becoming a danger to local drivers. Now a new problem may exist. It may be bears. This morning, drivers on the Pennsylvania Turnpike came upon the carcass of a young bear near the Harmer exit. Police removed the animal and said they saw what they thought was the mother bear watching from a nearby hill. She eventually disappeared into the woods. Police do not believe a person or a vehicle killed that bear. SUVs, as you know, are very popular vehicles, but they also uh, consume a lot of gasoline, and that is keeping America's fuel economy rating from getting any better. The average fuel economy of this year's SUV is 20 miles per gallon. That's the same as last year. And the fleet-wide average has not changed in the past seven years, and it was worse than it, and it is worse than it was 17 years ago, when fuel economy peaked at 22 miles per gallon. Now, energy analysts, some of them, say that the uh, rising price of fuel could prompt changes for the better. And as if high prices were not bad enough, some people are putting potentially tainted gasoline into their vehicles. A rash of complaints about bad gasoline is prompting officials in Pennsylvania and West Virginia to launch an investigation. Officials in West Virginia have already gathered fuel samples from several gas stations in the northern panhandle. And Pennsylvania officials plan to examine fuel sources in western Pennsylvania after receiving three dozen complaints. John Shumway will have more on this story coming up at 5. There's a lot of talk today after a set special CBS report on American soldiers who abuse Iraqi prisoners. Dan Rather told the story last night on 60 Minutes 2. Now, we do have an excerpt of that story, and we'd like to warn you some of the pictures may be disturbing. Americans did this to an Iraqi prisoner. According to the U.S. Army, the man was told to stand on a box with his head covered, with wires attached to his hands. He was told that if he fell off the box, he would be electrocuted. It was this picture and dozens of others that prompted an investigation by the U.S. Army. The pictures show Americans, men and women, in military uniforms, posing with naked Iraqi prisoners. There are shots of the prisoners stacked in a pyramid. And in most of the pictures, the Americans are laughing, posing, pointing, or giving the camera a thumbs up. Yesterday, we asked General Mark Kimmett, Deputy Director of Coalition Operations in Iraq, what went wrong. What would I tell the people of Iraq? Uh, this is wrong. This is reprehensible. But this is not representative of the 150,000 soldiers that are over here. Um, I'd say the same thing to the American people. Don't judge your army based on the actions of a few. Now, since that story aired last night, human rights groups and anti-war activists have made their outrage public. They say that the photos you saw are just all part of a widespread problem. Amnesty International is not only demanding better protection for Iraqi prisoners, but the group wants an independent investigation into military abuses. A couple of government reports today. The first said that the uh, economy is growing at a good pace. Also, the second report said that unemployment is down. That should make the market go up, right? Wrong. The market went down today. Let's take a look at the early closing numbers. As you can see, the Dow Jones Industrial Average for the day is going to give up a little over 70 points. At one point this afternoon, about an hour ago, it was down more than 100 points. It's also another bad day for the NASDAQ. It's going to give up another 30 and 3 quarters points. He is called the Pittsburgh Kid tonight. He is back in the ring, but his toughest fight has nothing to do with boxing. Coming up here from Paul Spatafor about his challenges both in and out of the ring. And why are commercials louder than the programs you watch on television? Well, there's now something out there to put an end to those high-volume ads. Details coming up in a Consumer Report. But first, what does a new CEO mean to U.S. Airways unions? Well, we will tell you what union leaders expect in an exclusive interview. That is next. And as my grandfather used to tell me when I was a young boy, today is a good, good day to go outside and get the stink blown off you. Partly sunny skies and 77 degrees right now. Coming up in the Acumen of the Forecast, we'll talk about a return to some rain showers just in time for the weekend. Last week, Rupert won a savory reward challenge. Thank you, sir. Then she and took a stand and won immunity. Yeah! Take that! In the end, Alicia was voted off the island. Survivor's Scorecard is brought to you by your local Saturn Greek papers. Einstein? 
What are you doing in my bathroom? I've made another important discovery. Bath Bitter is the intelligent alternative to high-cost bathroom remodeling. No one even comes close to Bath Bitter. I looked everywhere. Bath Bitter makes perfect sense. The choices, the quality. Be smart like us. Bath Bitter saved us thousands of dollars. Bath Bitter, the intelligent alternative. Call now for your free video and see for yourself.